Share ACSS 33160 Executal Questions for Avaya Workforce Engagement Support Certified Exam. 1. Which three Avaya Workforce Engagement Maintenance Tasks should be completed in a daily or weekly basis? Choose 3. A. Consider Loading Trends. B. Check active alarms. C. Confirm services are running. D. Perform database backups. E. Check data fragmentation. Answer. B. C. D. 2. In the Avaya Workforce Engagement, which two statements about framework license activation are true? Choose 2. A license activation requires enterprise manager access to the Internet. B. The license reference number is generated when the customer order is placed. C. The license registration key is generated during installation. D. The license registration key is generated before the enterprise suite is installed. Answer. A. D. 3. A technician is preparing for an upgrade from workforce optimization. WFO, VLL to Avaya Workforce Engagement R20. X. Which upgrade path must be used? A. Side by side or hardware reuse migration to R20. X. B. Two-step upgrade process, to V15.1 first, then to R20, X. C. Side-by-side -side upgrade to R20, X in Windows 2016. D. In place upgrade to R20, X in Windows 2012 R2, Gray Kit. Answer, B. 4. Which two statements are true about Disk Manager tasks for Avaya Contact Recorder Advanced, ACRA? Choose 2. A. It removes all the data associated with a recording file when necessary. B. It monitors the call buffer to ensure that there is enough free space to. C. It deletes the oldest recordings from the drive to make free space for the new recordings. D. It is used to define and configure disk partitions used for storing. Answer. A. C. 5. In a scenario with Avaya Contact Recorder Advanced. ACRA. Using Station Side Recording. TDM. Which statement is true? A. When there is an outgoing call that is put on hold for a consult with a supervisor, and then conferences with a supervisor, the call with the customer and the conference with the supervisor will be recorded, while the internal consult will not be recorded. B. When there is an incoming call that is put on hold, only the customer side will be recorded. C. An internal call will not be recorded. D. When there is an outgoing call that is put on hold for a consult with a supervisor, and then conferenced with a supervisor, everything will be recorded. Answer. A. 6. When using the Capture Status tool for troubleshooting, what kind of information is collected? A. Summary of thresholds for CPU usage, memory, recordings, and lag time. B. Details for audio and screen capture, channels, extensions, and workstations. C. Information on adapters, data sources, recording rules, recorders, and real-time monitors. D. Summary of all recorded lines. Answer. C. 7. 
Which utility is designed to verify that the framework server has passed the prerequisite check and is ready to install? A. SR Validator B. WFO Setup.x C. Evaya WTF Preinstall Utility D. Audit Test Answer. C. 8. Which two statements about the Avaya Workforce Engagement Database Management Service account are true? Choose 2. A. The account cannot be the same as the Management Service account. B. The password can be changed after the installation. C. It is allowed to change the username after initial installation. D. The account must be defined within a work group. Answer. A. B. 9. A technician is configuring the recorder integration service in Recorder Manager to allow the recorder to communicate with the switch. Which statement is true about CTI adapter? A. There is just one CTI adapter per data source. B. There is just one CTI adapter per system. C. CTI adapter is not necessary for integration service. D. CTI adapter is required to receive call signaling and metadata from the answer. D. 10. In Avaya Contact Recorder Advanced. ACRA. You want to view information related to your configuration such as adapters, data sources, recording rules and real-time monitors. Which monitoring tool collects this information? A. Recorder Status Summary. B. Configuration Checker C. Integration Service Status D. Capture Status Answer D.